Hi, it's Katie with Ray K Books, and today I'm going to be doing the For the Book Lover tag, and this tag was created by Beth over at Beth327. I'll link her video down below, so go check that out. This tag is basically a gift guide for book lovers or for people that you want to buy a book for. There are 13 categories, and for each category, you just pick a book for that type of person. So the first one is For the Old Soul, and for this one, I have two different types of books. I have um, the portable Dorothy Parker. Dorothy Parker is one of the most quotable 20th century authors, and so I feel for the old soul, or really anybody, um, there's going to be something in here that's going to resonate. I feel like there's also a lot of wisdom in this book that I think an old soul would appreciate. Um, and then for the second book, I have The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. I have never heard anybody say anything bad about this book, and it seems like it holds a tale that's going to last for ages and that's going to stick with people. And I feel like for an old soul, they would really appreciate that type of story and that type of tale. So this is definitely one that I would consider giving an old soul. For the young at heart, uh, there are so many different choices. Um, obviously, I would probably go with Harry Potter, and if they've already read that, then I would probably think of Percy Jackson, and if they've already read that, then I might also consider getting them Amulet, which is a graphic novel series, and... Um, a popular one. It's an adventure story. It's fun. I think the young at heart would really enjoy this. For the one who loves love, there's so many different choices again. Um, there is the short story collections like Let It Snow and My True Love Gave to Me. Both of these are filled with short stories about romance and they're both really cute and heartwarming. I would also say anything by Rainbow Rowell, um, specifically Fangirl and Attachments. These are the two stories that are the most heartwarming. And then also um, Just One Day and Just One Year by Gail Foreman are also, this is a great love story and I think it might be one of my favorite love stories I've ever read. So this is also a really good choice for the one that loves love. Uh, for the nerd, I have two choices. The Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith, and this is actually quite hilarious, and it has a lot of relatable things to people that like video games and anything like that, so this is a great gift for the nerds. Also, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. This also has a lot of video game elements into it. I think that a nerd would devour and love this book. For the Rebel... I would get Miss Born the Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This book has a rebellion in it, and it also has some characters that are really badass and fantastic. For the fairy tale dreamer, there's the obvious choice of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, which consists of Cinder and Scarlet and Cress. This is a great series to start with for the fairy tale lover. If they have already read that, I would also say um, these aren't exactly fairy tale retellings, but Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, because all of these three stories have sort of fairy tale endings or sort of a fairy tale story. There's love and romance, and they come together in a way that seems almost fairy tale like but also very real at the same time. For the BFFs, I would say Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson is a fantastic choice. I read this book earlier this year. It was lovely and wonderful, and I absolutely adore this book. Also, I think Open Road Summer by Emery Lord is also a great choice for BFFs that has well, I didn't enjoy the book as much. I really, really love the friendship, and I think that book has a very wonderful friendship aspect to it. For the adventure, I would get Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. There's also Crown of Midnight, the second book, and Air of Fire, the third book, and also The Assassin's Blade, which is a group, which is a bind-up of all the novellas in the series. This series is so good. Selena goes on many different adventures. There's many different things going on and it's 
just amazing. It's enough to keep the adventure reading and engaged. It's a perfect one to give. For the Joker, I would get any book by a comedian, um, specifically Mindy Kaling, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me, is a fantastic read. I haven't read Tina Fey, but that's another one to consider. Also Amy Poehler, Yes Please. For the Thrill Seeker, I would give Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Um, there's also Unravel Me and Ignite Me, and these are fantastic books, and they are perfect for the thrill seeker because there's a lot going on, and there is many different thrills that happen that the characters are put through, and I just, this series is so good. I cannot recommend this series enough. For the soft-hearted, I would consider getting them My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is such a good story, and it's very sweet. I think it's perfect for those that want a heartwarming story. For The Risk Taker, I would get These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, and it's fantastic, a story about space, and they crash land on a planet, and they're, and they're trying to get rescued, and there is so much going on. Um... They take risks because they're trying to survive. For the beach bum, I would choose anything by Morgan Matson. Um, there's Second Chance Summer, Amy and Rogers Epic Detour, Since You've Been Gone is also a good choice, and uh, I feel like I'm missing one. But any any of Morgan Matson's books are going to be fantastic reads, um, especially on the beach. Alright guys, well there is the For the Book Lover tag. I hope you got some ideas. I'm not going to tag anybody specifically, but if you want to do this, I would love to see your video. So I tag you if you want to do this one. And I will talk to you guys all very soon. Happy reading. Bye.